this one. Hi guys, it's Kara again, and today we are reviewing these products from Luna Cosmetics. Now, they did send me this as a PR package, so I just want to be transparent with you guys that I did not pay for these. They sent it to me for free, but I will be very honest with my review and opinion on these products because I, I don't want to cheat you guys. I love honesty. Honesty! Trust issues ba? Anyway, let's start. I'll show you guys the products that they gave me. This right here is the Luna Strawberry Lip Scrub. And then this one is the Luna Powder Lip Stain. This one is the Premium Matte Stain, and this is the Lip and Cheek Gel Tint. The first thing we're gonna try is the Strawberry Lip Scrub. I don't really use lip scrubs that much because I have sensitive skin, and I'm scared that things that I put on my lips might irritate it. So let's see. Apply an ample amount of Luna Strawberry Lip Scrub. Scrub gently, then leave for two to three minutes. Wipe with clean cloth. The ingredients are very simple. It's granulated sugar, castor oil, aloe vera extract, vitamin E oil, lemon extract, virgin coconut oil, artificial strawberry, and bubblegum flavor. So I'm guessing this is a like strawberry bubblegum scent. Let's smell it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> it smells like candy also because it's made of sugar. I'm just going to shake this first. They told me to shake it before use. This is what it looks like. I guess I just put it on my finger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the benefits of a lip scrub is that it exfoliates your lips. Especially before you use like a matte liquid lippy or any of those matte lipsticks. Your lips really... Oh my gosh, I can taste it. <laughs> it it's very sugary. Because it's sugar. Hello. When you're wearing a matte lippy, if you don't exfoliate, it might look really crusty. And especially for people like me with dry skin, it really gets bad. They said leave on for two to three minutes. So I will check you back when this is over. So I wiped that all off. I don't really like the taste of sugar. I don't think it's my jam. But then again, all I think most lip scrubs are sugar. If you have no problem with other lip scrubs, you'll like these. I suggest using this before you do your makeup because I wanted to like wash mine off instead of just wiping it because like the sugar was getting here. Just because I'm like particular. I'm holding a tissue. <laughs> Just because I'm like particular with my like the things on my face and if you have long fingers like mine I suggest you use like a tiny spoon or a spatula to get it out if you are particular about it because otherwise it gets like stuck in my nails But then that has nothing to do with this product and more of like my personal preference I'm just going to put some lip balm a little bit long. I cannot not have lip balm and look at this lip balm It's like completely gone. Oh, apparently 10% of the total 10% of the 10% of the total sales of Luna goes into buying school supplies for public schools. So, they have a social aspect as well and a lot lot of kids are having a hard time right now especially during the pandemic, right? As of July 2020, they were able to help three public schools in Oriental Mindoro. When you buy from Luna, you're not only getting these products but you're also helping public school students next we'll move on to our tints let's do some swatches i think i'm gonna go from shortest to tallest so let's start with the lip lip the lip the lip and cheek the li lip and cheek gel tint this is in the shade Deimos, and apparently the names of the shades are derived from different moons in our universe luna Moon. We're going to go to the Premium Matte. This is the Luna Premium Matte Stain in the shade Europa. It really smells like bubblegum also. This one is kind of uh, like a little bit thicker. I think that's why it's a gel stain. This one is more of a liquidy formula and it says that it's it will dry matte. This is the shade. It's a little more on the warm side. The last one is the Luna Powder Lip Stain. It's described as tinted water that turns into powder when applied. Ooh, I think this might be my favorite. So this is in the shade Margaret. I have to move my skin. Ayan. Let us try the Deimos Lip and Cheek Gel. It smells good as well. It smells like massage oil. I like it. I used to use this Everbelena roller tint. It's the same applicator, like it's a roller. I used to use that a lot. But then, 
I found that it doesn't blend nicely. Like I put it here and then I try to blend it and then there's this like little patch of red. That doesn't do this. It blends nicely. It's really cute. It makes me look like this Korean beauty beauty. Korean beauty people. Beauty people. But then how do I swatch the other ones now? I did not think about that. Okay, I'll try removing it with micellar water. Let us try the medium-sized one, the premium matte stain in the shade Europa. This is the more, the warmer toned one. It's really nice. I wonder how long this will last. Actually, it looks like it's gonna last a long time. Yeah, non-transfer. The pigment is a lot more pigmented. It's a lot more... It's kind of like numbing my lips. Like, what's happening? I feel like my lips are tingling. Or it felt like cold when I applied it. Aqua Vegetable Glycerin Xanthan Gum Food Grade Colorant Vitamin E Oil Aloe Vera Extract Isododecane Sodium Benzoate Let's search. Sodium Benzoate is the preservative. So Xanthan Gum is a thickening agent and it's what puts it together. Vegetable Glycerin it is sweet. It's for wound burns. What? It's like syrup. Isododecane. Isododecane enhances the spreadability of products. It's a solvent. So what is it that's making my lips tingle? I mean, it doesn't hurt. I'm just like... You know what? I don't know. Let's just take it off and then I'll show you guys the next one. This is more difficult to take off. I'm gonna get some oil. I got some coconut oil and we're gonna try to take this off. But if you look at it, it looks really cute. Even if when I took some off, that could be your thing too. This is some heavy duty Okay, I will try to put some concealer. I'm looking crazy right now. Am I going to turn into a, like a beauty vlogger? Because I feel like I do way too much weird stuff and I, I feel like I mess up too much to be considered a, a beauty vlogger. A vlogger? A beauty vlogger! Sponge! Sponge! <laughs> Just kind of went away. Anyway! Anyway, I've already tried this and I really like it. I feel like this one is my favorite. This and this just because of the colors. But let's try it on. I will show you guys. This is the powder lip stain in the shade Margaret. And this is the one that is a liquid and then dries as a powder. I can feel this one stinging as well. I don't know if it's because I put more of the product or I don't know, it feels like my, my lips are going numb. This is weird. No ingredient in these two are different. These two have the same ingredients and yet this one makes my lips tingly and this one does not. Maybe it's that this one is more pigmented? I don't know, but it looks cute. I like this one. I think this one is my favorite. This one and this one are my favorite because this one also doubles as a cheek, cheek thingy. I'm just cleaning it up because I kind of made lumpas. I think it's also because I put oil. So now my skin is kind of like, Hey, Kiara, what the hell are you doing? Are you taking your makeup off or putting it on? The hard thing I realized about wearing red lipstick is that it makes your redness come out. So if you have like a pimple or a red patch of skin, it kind of enhances it. But red lipsticks also make your teeth look very white. You know, every shade has its pros and cons. I really like this shade. It looks very young. All of these shades, even the red one, it looked like quite young. It didn't look like it was aging me. And I kind of think that's their branding. It's bubblegum scented, so it does look like it's geared towards like young, young women or teens. And I think lip tints are easier to market for younger girls because they aren't as hard to work with like liquid matte lipsticks are or cream lipstick. As a kid, the first product that I really liked wearing was a uh, lip and cheek tint. The roller ones. I remember my mom had one and I would always steal it from her because I really like the way I look with a lip and cheek tint and it looks very natural. It just looks like you naturally have that. And you can actually, I feel like you can diffuse this and make it look more natural. I feel like you can work with these products. Like, what, what do you want for the day? Do you want it more natural? Do you want it more pigmented? Do you want you know what I mean? And they have a lot of shades, so I think you should check that out. So here are the three shades. The first one is the Lip and Cheek Gel Tint in the shade Deimos. Then the Premium Matte Stain in Europa. 
and then the powdered lip tint in Margaret. Deimos is bright, the Europa is warm, and the Margaret is more like nude. And as you can see, the Europa kinda, it's kinda bleeding, but on my lip naman, it didn't bleed. So maybe it's just, I don't know. The, con the texture of my arm. I think my favorites are the first and the second one. I'm just really drawn to them. So that, you guys, ends this very short video. They didn't require me to make a YouTube video about this, but I wanted to try it on, and if I'm gonna try it on anyway, why not try it out? try it on with you guys. I really want to make more consistent content. I know that I've been posting at most once a month. And I think it's because like a lot of times I pressure myself that, oh, if I'm gonna make a YouTube video, it has to be like the best one. It has to be super long format. But then I think that I should consider making short videos just as long as I post more frequently. And it doesn't have to be like, the most comprehensive video ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you wanna check out Luna Cosmetics, you can. They have an Instagram. I will leave their socials down below. I'll link them and I'll put them up here also. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video. If you liked it, comment. Any other cosmetics that you want me to try, especially local brands. That's the kind of content we want, right? We wanna see more local products. If there's anything that you guys want me to try out, leave it in the comments down below. Subscribe. Okay. Anyway, bye!